Conflict in county leadership. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. I'm Elizabeth Din. Multnomah County passed a nearly $4 billion budget just yesterday for the upcoming 2025 fiscal year, but not without quite a bit of pushback. Joelle Jones has been digging into this budget. She joins us live. I know you asked some tough questions of the county chair and the commissioners, Joelle. I did, and as you know, this is a contentious issue. This budget passed in a four to one vote yesterday following hours of heated debate. It includes major investments for ho homelessness and mental health and behavioral health resources, but is still facing criticism from commissioners who say it lacks planning and focus. It's disappointing and frustrating that this proposed budget lacks strategic focus, misses opportunities for enhanced accountability, and is playing a game of inches. We have more money in Multnomah County than we can effectively waste. And given our history of wasting resources, that is a hell of an indictment. After a nearly $4 billion budget passes in Multnomah County, we caught up with Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson to follow the money and ask how the county plans to spend it. We've set funding up for our Behavioral Health Resource Center. We have um, dollars in there that's a combination of investments from the county, the state, and the city for a 24-hour drop-off and sobering center that we're really excited about. Following the fentanyl state of emergency, Chair Peterson says the budget carves out proactive funding to support the county and law enforcement ahead of incoming changes to Measure 110. It includes a combined city, county, and state $32.5 million deflection and recovery package and a 24% increase in homeless services. Commissioner Myron publicly said that this budget is hiding millions of dollars and it's unclear how that money will be used. What's your response? You know, I mean, I think it's it's disappointing. We have had over 60 hours of uh, board meeting and public discussion about this budget. If Commissioner Martin wasn't getting the questions answered that she wanted, if she had questions, um, you know, I, I feel sorry for that. Sharon Myron, the only commissioner to vote against the budget after failing to pass several amendments to fund issues like a fentanyl emergency task force and a pilot program to address the ambulance shortage, says after eight years, her biggest regret is only having one no vote. I am just shocked that, I guess shocked but not surprised that that would be her response. I've raised all of these things um, literally for years now. And Myron says she's not upset that her amendments didn't pass, but says that she feels the impact this budget has on everyday people is getting lost. On the other hand, Chair Vega Peterson says that she opened up her budget to public comment early and that anyone can track its progress at the county's website. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. And